Oh, okay. I see people logging in and I want to welcome everyone. Please let us know where you're logging in from. And because we always like to see who is joining us live. And I am Gustavo Tolosa and I'm the webinar host for this wonderful webinar today. I also host webinars with Dr. McDougall and CFAJ and other, other doctors and professionals. And tonight I have the pleasure of uh, welcoming Shada. Hi, so everybody. Then, yes. And uh, so we'll just wait a couple of minutes to, to get started. I want to make sure that everybody can see and hear. I see people from all over the place, Palm Springs, Utah, Ohio, Canada, Texas, wow. California. Wow. Thank you guys for joining in. Please type in the chat um, if you can hear and if you can see, okay, just to make sure because um, unless you type in there, we don't know. Okay, yes, I can hear. Hi, Gustavo. Hey, AJ, thanks for joining us. Wow, uh, AJ, that's fantastic. Pamela and Carol and from Louisiana, Joanne from Wisconsin. This is great. Oh, so I am in Argentina. Shada is all the way in California. And um, because we have this magic of the internet, we can connect all from all over the world. Just in case, because you never know when you do live broadcasts, uh, what can happen with the internet. If for some reason we get disconnected, don't panic. We will send you the replay. If we don't get disconnected, then we will also send you the replay either to <laughs> later on tonight or tomorrow. So, I would like to formally now, now that I know that everything is working, uh, I would like to welcome Shada and um, tell you how grateful that I am for you to take the time to do this webinar. These webinars take hundreds of hours to produce, and um, we do it with a lot of love because we really want to share this message that it is possible to regain your health and lose weight eating this amazing food. But it does take a lot of time. So I want to thank Shada and welcome you to this to your webinar. Hi, Shada. Thank you, Gustavo. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you, everyone, from all over um, for joining us tonight. I'm super excited to share some of the Persian recipes with you. Tonight, we're going to show um, two recipes, uh, the lentil and brown rice recipe that we're gonna make in the rice cooker. And we're also gonna show you how to make an herb rice dish. Um, but we're gonna tease you a little bit because we're actually gonna show that in the pot, but we cannot give you the exact recipe of that because the crunchy part of the rice that we call the tadig is in there. So, what we've decided that in the recipe that we're gonna send out tonight, I'm gonna to get explained more about it. We are going, I, I did put in there how to make the exact same rice in the rice cooker, um, which is, tastes just as great, but you may not get that crunchy crunchy part of the rice that we all want. That, that will be given to you um, in a third, I think the third webinar, is that right, Gustavo? The ne yeah, so the next, the next webinar that's coming out is the stews. And then what we do with the stews is what we put on top of the white saffron rice or the brown saffron rice. Um, so we have those to, to do next week. And then the following week is when we give the big old secret out and teach you guys how to make that crunchy rice so that you can all enjoy. I know Gustavo loves it. I know Chef AJ loves it. And it's just, um, it's great. So I'm looking forward to you guys making some of this stuff and sharing it with me, your experiences, and telling me all about it. Thank you, Shada. And uh, so we will send you the PDF with tonight's recipes. It, they will come uh, either at the end of this webinar if uh, everything works out right. And if not, they will be mailed to you with the replay tonight, later, or, or tomorrow. And um, by the way, if you see a black 
rectangle between Shada and I, <laughs> that's a second Shada that we don't know how she got there. <laughs> but we love her so much. Yeah. <laughs> we can't have enough of her. So no, that's going to be a spot where I'm going to put some messages and type something later on in the replay. So don't worry. So are we all ready? I think we're all ready. So we will start. You guys can keep typing and Shaira will be able to answer questions as you watch the webinar. And um, that's how it works. And then after the recipes, which is about 20 minutes for both recipes, we will come back. And if you have any questions about how Shaira lost, more, uh, 120, about that much? Yeah, about, about that much. Okay. And I ate how all my favorite foods. And she hasn't gained it back and will not ever. No, again. no, no, no. That's not, not ask, an option. Yeah, you, you can ask her questions about that as well. So let's get started and we will show you these two really delicious uh, recipes that I had the privilege of trying. And I can attest to the fact that they, they're just amazing. They're so good and easy to make. Here we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Shada. Welcome to my kitchen. And I'm going to show you today some of Persian uh, plant-based cooking that I've started doing and adapting it to the way that we eat. So today's recipe is going to be lentils and rice with dates and raisins. Typically, this rice is made with um, meat and, well, no, actually, it's a vegetarian dish, but they do add a lot of oil to it, and, um, but in this recipe, we're not going to make anything with oil, and what I've done with this recipe, actually, is I've decided to make it, because our rices take a while to make, but I've decided for this one, we're going to get in, I'm going to show you what to do in the rice cooker, and I've made it easy so that if there is a Trader Joe's around you, I'd use this entire bag of this brown rice medley. Now, this does have wheat in here, so if you are staying away from wheat, I will at the end of this go through it and show you exactly what to do so that you don't have to use this bag and you can just use plain brown rice. But you want to use brown basmati rice because basmati has that fragrance to it and it's just a lot tastier. So what I've done with this bag is I've already washed it and rinsed it because you do want to wash and rice the rinse. And the rice. And before you continue, Shada, for those people that are new, perhaps, tell us, you mentioned something about the, the way we eat. Can you just say a word about that? Sure. Because they may wonder, what what is the way that you, sure. eat, that so, you eat? So we eat a whole food plant-based diet that's free of any animal products, any oils, any kind of processed foods, and it's just a healthier way of eating. We don't eat anything that has a a face on it. We don't use any dairies. We don't use any sugar. And the sugar that's typically used in this, you know, could have been used in this recipe, I'm using dates. So even the sugar is coming from a whole food and no salt. Um, our seasonings are going to be salt free, but the seasonings, once you add it to this, it has a lot of flavor. So in this rice, like I said, we're going to use this brown rice medley, which I've already washed and rinsed it several times. And you do want to do that with your with your rice that you get out of the package because there's always like a little film on it mm -hmm. and you know it's just cleaner right? right we're going to use one cup of the green lentils now again this has been rinsed and washed and you you do want to do that and you're going to just pour that in here so for right now this is the only two ingredients that's going to go into this dish the rest we're going to save until it's later Adding the amount of water, because you've added um, lentils in here, there's a fine, fine length. This mm. rice, you don't want it to be mushy and sticky. You want the rice to be fluffy. Um, remember I was telling you in the car today that, you know, you know you're a bad cook, Persian cook, if the rice is sticky, because our rice, you want it to be airy and fluffy and just full of flavor. For this, you want to add water. I don't know if you can see the inside of the Let's pot, but there's... Get There's that. numbers on here. Yes. That's right. So we're going to go between four and about four and a half. That's what the measuring of mm -hmm. the cup okay. of water you want. And now all we're going to do is we're going to close the lid and we're going to push the button for brown rice. 
Well, actually, you're going to turn, turn on the <laughs> rice cooker first, right. and then you're going to hit the button for brown rice. Once that cooks, then we're going to start to add all of our seasonings. Um, you don't want to add the seasonings to this water mixture. It's going to dilute it, and the flavor is not going to be there, and the essence is not going to be there. So once this has cooked, we're going to come back. We're going to show you that we add our seasonings, and we're going to add the dates, and we're going to add the raisins. And, oh, Gustavo, mm -hmm. you're in for a treat. Wait till you taste them. Yes. So now, tell me, while people are waiting for this to cook, they could be chopping or getting some of the things ready they can start getting the seasonings ready they can mm -hmm. get the dates ready because you want to get medjool dates or you want to get the deglet nor dates i prefer the deglet nor dates only because it's less sweet the medjool dates are super sweet right now for me so i i prefer mm -hmm. the, the uh, deglet nor and we're going to chop those up and actually i can show you you know gustavo was kind enough to chop these up for me well, I was trying to get ready. So you did a great job, by the way. So thank you. Well, I have to earn my, my No, you, to this is fantastic. Okay, so good. we've got chopped uh, chopped dates here. That's ready to go. We've also got a good amount of black raisins. Um, make sure when you buy your raisins that you're buying sun dried. Sun dried. Sun dried. Because you want to read the ingredient list. They've started adding oil to this. No. Oh. Okay, so you got to be really careful where you're buying Trader Joe's, Costco, they have it, but make sure that it says sun dried and when you look on the ingredient list that it just says raisins, nothing else. Right. If you can find currants and if you prefer currants and you can find it without oil, by all means, you could add currants to this. If you don't, if you want to leave this out, again, leave it out. If you want to put more raisins in, add more raisins. You know, cooking is... It's not a science like baking. Baking, you need the exact mm. amounts. And if there's certain flavors that you like more of, go ahead and add that. It's going to be tasty. You're not, you're not going to go wrong, especially in this recipe. We're adding, um, if you want to look, we're adding cinnamon. We're going to add cardamom. We're going to add roasted cumin, black pepper. And the magic here, mm. saffron. <laughs> saffron. Saffron's going to be And I saw added. that you were, um, what do you call it? With a mortar, with and, mortar yes. right so the saffron um, comes like in these red threads right and you don't want to just throw the threads in there so I've got this little mortar thing and then you just you just you know grind it right and it, it becomes like a powder so it's gonna be easier to use right. and I'll and I'll show you down the road well on this one I'm gonna be sprinkling it on top but if you follow me we're gonna be you know this we're gonna be doing other webinars we will show you exactly how to water down the saffron so you can add it to your rice and it's oh my goodness it's so good mm. hi everybody guess what the rice is ready we're going to open up the lid mm. and let some of this steam out first and then what i want you to do is take your um spatula and just kind of fluff the rice see how it's fluffy okay next we're going to add your spices now like I mentioned before, these are all your spices. It's the cardamom, it's the saffron, it's the cumin, and it's the cinnamon and black pepper. So we're gonna sprinkle this all over the rice. And then we're gonna toss this so that it gets all mixed really, do you smell it? No, yes. You eat this with a salad, you eat it by itself. Okay. Um, what I was going to mention to you guys, we're just going to let this um, cook in there for a little bit. What I was going to mention to you guys, if for those of you that are um, gluten intolerant, not gluten, or wheat intolerant, I should say, you can easily make this dish without the wheat. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your lentils, you're going to cook that separately. You're going to go ahead and put your brown rice in here so you can get, you know, three like if you go to the three cups of brown rice you go to the third level of the water and you're going to cook your brown rice in here once the brown rice has cooked go ahead and add the lentils to this mixture add your seasonings add your currants add your um, dates and mix it all together so that's it's easy to do it's not hard to do at all but that's how you would convert it and if you're not if you're trying to be um weed you know leaving the weed out so that's another way of doing this rice Mm. And then we're going to go ahead and serve this, and we're going to have Gustavo try it. Yes. And uh, we'll get the feedback on it. But look how beautiful oh, this is. It is. And there's nothing. And 
if you really want to, and if, for those of you that don't want to do dates, or don't want to do raisins, by all means, just do the brown rice and just do the lentils and add the seasonings. It's delicious, mm -hmm. absolutely delicious on its own. So you've got many ways of making this dish. Hi everybody, welcome back. Our dish is done, it's completed, and I wanted to show you the final product. Here it is. It's absolutely delicious. And I've put some aside for Gustavo right now. Um, I want him to try it. He's bouncing up and down. He's wanting to try this. So yes. here you go, my friend. Mm. Oh, Cheda, this is amazing. What a combination of, you would never think that this combination would work. Right, right, um, but the flavors blend, right? Yes, and the blend of, of the rice oh, um, and the lentils, I love lentils. Thank you. Okay, now you can leave me alone. I'm gonna go finish my <laughs> okay, rice. he's gonna go finish, finish uh, eating the rice. For our second recipe for the webinar, we're going to make an herb rice. And in this dish, there's a lot of fresh herbs. As you can see, there's fresh mint, there's cilantro, there's dill, there's onions, green onions, there's basil, there's everything is in here. And you will get the full recipe of this dish. Now, I go ahead and wash my herbs. A lot of people don't do this, and they say that with the herbs, you should not wash them. But I just, I can't. Even if it's organic, I gotta wash it. And when I was with Dr. Furman, he taught me something really good to do with the herbs when you're, when you're washing them. So he says that once you've washed it, you lay it out on top of the towel, and if they're not 100% dry, just roll it up back in the towel and put it in the refrigerator. The next day, it is as fresh as can be, and you can just let it dry naturally. It is so good, it's so clean and easy. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take the herbs that we have, and we're gonna chop it up in the food processor. And it's going to take about two batches to do this. And you don't want to get it too finely chopped. Now what I've done in this recipe, we are going to make this with brown rice. Making brown rice is exactly the same way as making white rice. You still do the par boiling, you still wash it, you still do all of that. But what we're going to do, I, I just wanted you guys to see that even with brown rice, you can still get the teddy. We're gonna take our chopped herbs that we've done and we're gonna pour it on top. And we're gonna continue chopping our fresh herbs until it's done. This dish is typically made for the Persian New Year, and they serve it with um, white fish. But we're not doing fish, right? We're not doing any fish. No. So this, like I said, this typically is made during the Persian New Year, okay. which is March, March. 20th, oh, right? Wow. this a little bit before adding the rest of it. Very colorful. Yes, it's for the new year. Mm -hmm. But do you smell how oh, fragrant it is? It, it is so... It just smells so good. It smells fresh. And you're using the S-Blade. Make sure you mix this really, really well. You want all of the greens to be mixed. You don't want the greens to be in the bottom and then we have a lot of white. So that looks pretty good. What do you think? Yes, it's very... So we're gonna yeah. add this well. to the pot. We're gonna start adding it to our pot. And 
This up. rice is part boiled, so it's not part ready boiled. to eat yet. No, it's not. It's not ready to eat. You're showing how do you you do the part boil and how you do this study in um, in our next webinar. Absolutely. If you want to learn how to make tadig, you need to sign up for our webinar. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is add fresh garlic cloves in between the layers of the oh. rice. All you do is just put them down in here. And I'm sorry, but the more the garlic, the tastier <laughs> this yes. gets. It is so flavorful. I haven't seen you do that with, with other, with the other. This is only for this dish? No, I'm actually going to do it for another dish as well. Oh, okay. So stay tuned. Right. I have a little secrets up my you sleeve. Do have I can't. I can't tell you. You can't give them all away no. the first time. No, 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 I can't give you all my secrets. So now we're going to add a little bit more garlic because, you know, we don't have enough, right? No, it's never enough. Are you a garlic fan no, as well? Yeah, I have Good. Put garlic on everything. Other than oatmeal that I don't put garlic on. No, somehow I don't think that's going to be very tasty. <laughs> no. All right, so let's just put a few more garlic cloves on there. And the recipe, I'm going to say, you know, to your taste. Uh, because, you know, there's people, believe it or not, there are people out there that don't like garlic. Mm -hmm. yeah. My aunt is one of them. If she sees the garlic in there, if she smells it, she won't eat it. But no. 9 out of 10, I hide it in the food. She has no clue that it's in there. Right. And then she goes, see, mm -hmm. Shada cooks without garlic. Uh, I like it. I'm just, sure, and we're, sure, all, yeah. we're all laughing because yeah, that's so not true. It's so not true. Got to get every little morsel in here now. We're going to take that. We're going to go all the way back to hole in there. And our rice you is made ready. two eyes and a mouth. Yes, two eyes and a mouth mm -hmm. right there. Okay. So we'll see you shortly when this is done. I wanted to show you the rice that I use for the brown rice. This is um, Indian brown basmati rice and it's extra long grain. Basmati is very fragrant and that's what we like to use when we're doing a lot of our Middle Eastern cooking. I bought this from Amazon. I bought two of these from Amazon. So I wanted to make sure that for those of you that are living in areas where you cannot, you, you don't have access to a Middle Eastern store, that you can get the brown rice that is called for. And you can certainly get this on, on Amazon. Again, it's called the Pride of India and it's available on Amazon. So we're back, the herb rice should be ready. Let's open it up and see. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the fresh garlic that's in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the smell that was a little bit different from the others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. You see it right there? Yeah. Mm. As you can see, you can make our dishes, the Persian rice dishes, with any rice. You can make it with brown rice and you can make it with white rice. Mm -hmm. The process is completely the same and as you will see in the, our future webinars, we teach you exactly step by step how to make this delicious rice with the teddy. Here's the fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And it is so fluffy and ooh, look at that. Delicious. So this is the herb, right? The herb rice? The herb rice with the fresh garlic. And you can see the herb, the garlic here. So just nobody, nobody gets close to me, okay? <laughs> Mm. I love garlic. 
I love herbs. I love rice. Yes. I love you, Shada. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> mm, delicious. So here's the final finished product. It's brown rice, herb rice, tadig. So tadig can be made with either white rice or with brown rice. But stay tuned for future webinars so that we can teach you exactly how to make it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did that day. It was a treat. And um, I just, Shayla is gonna take over now. She's gonna answer some of the questions you're having. And um, I just want to mention that we spent four days filming like crazy nonstop. So we have um, created a webinar for next Monday at this time that will have four stews. One of them was the quince stew, which was one of my favorite. I loved it. Then there was the celery stew. Then Shayla's going to tell you what the others are. Um, all delicious, uh, nutritious, and super low calories that go great with the starch for the starchy, the starch of the, red, of the rice. And then the following Monday, we're revealing the big, big secret, the Tadig, which I, it was nothing like I expected, but it, uh, I don't know what I expected really, but it, it, this was the crunchiest thing, and we all love crunchy. I can see myself taking the Tadig to the movie theater instead of the popcorn, and uh, I want you guys to see it. So uh, we did spend, like I said earlier, hundreds of hours, and we spent money and Stuff. So we're charging a small fee. It's very small, but guys, we're charging it so we can at least recover part of the, the intense work we did. Um, so remember, I'm going to send this free webinar to you, and I'm going to send the recipes either later tonight or by tomorrow morning. So I'm going to let Shada take over now, and um, maybe you want to explain one more time, Shada, the that the written recipes will have um, the the the, 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 the last the herb rice. Yeah, absolutely. So for the herb uh, for the herb rice recipe, um, the way I wrote it up for you guys is that you're going to basically parboil the rice, and I've explained how to parboil the rice and how to get to that step. And then once you've gotten to that step, you go ahead and add all the chopped herbs to it. You mix it really well, and then you're going to put about a cup of water into the rice cooker. Um, you don't need to add any more water because the rice has already been parboiled on the stovetop. So you're just gonna add a little bit of water to the bottom of the um, rice cooker. Then you're gonna put your rice in there. You're gonna do the layers with the garlic. Now the garlic, if you don't like garlic, then I recommend not to put that in. But like, I love garlic, so I love steamed fresh garlic in there. It, it just makes the rice so good. Um, at least, you may not put as much as, I put in, but you know, put a little bit in, and then um, close the lid and push the brown rice button and let it do its thing. The reason we put a little bit of water in there is that so that it can continue to cook in its own steam and so that it becomes fluffy. So we are gonna give you that recipe, and then in the third webinar where we do all, um, I believe there's five or six rice recipes that we do, in that one, we will get into detail by detail as to exactly the steps you need to do for the parboiling. We're gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to make the crunchy rice. And so you will you will get all of that. So I hope that explained it. If you have any questions, you guys are free to email me. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. As far as the stews that we're um, going to do next week, we've got some great stews. 
Um, Gustavo already mentioned uh, the quince. We do a lot of stuff with quince, and this quince stew is one of, you know, Chef AJ's favorite, it's Gustavo's favorite, and um, that stew is made with quince and pomegranates and um, pineapple, and, you know, the stew is actually very tasty. All of these stews are great on their own. All of these stews are great on potatoes. But what typically the way a Persian meal is served is we serve the white saffron rice and then we put the stews on top of the rice. And that's how typically how we eat it. It could be, again, with white rice. It could be with brown rice. Um, typically, we do a lot of white rice around here in Iran. So um, so we're making the quince stew. We are going to be making a celery stew. We are going to be making an herb stew, which is Orma Sabzi. And I've tried to get Gustavo to pronounce Orma Sabzi. I don't know. Have you been practicing, Gustavo? I gave up. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gave up. Anyway, so um, Orma Sabzi is made, is made with, um, with beans and a lot of fresh herbs, an awful lot of fresh herbs. And then we're also going to be doing um, an okra stew. Uh, so what in Farsi is called Horish Abamye, so we're going to be doing that as well. And again, all of these stews are, you could eat it on its own, you could put it on baked potatoes, you could put it on rice, um, they're absolutely delicious. So I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed it. Yes, and someone is asking what quince tastes like. To me, quince tastes, tastes like a fruit, almost like some kind of strawberry and it looks hard. I don't know. What What do you it's, think? Um, quince is like, it is a fruit. And it's a cross, I would say, between a pear and an apple. That's what it tastes like to uh, me. I, yes. I mean, I don't know. But it's, it's yes. absolutely delicious. I <laughs> am, right now, I am sharing. I, this is an experiment I'm doing always trying to improve our webinar experience. I am sharing with everybody the actual PDF of the recipes and um, I just want to make sure that that people can see it. Um, if you don't see it, don't worry. It will be mailed to you, but um, I just click a button that says share PDF. So I uh, will see if it works. Otherwise, it will be emailed to you. All right, so anybody else, please okay, make so sure somebody, that... Somebody's asking where to buy quince in Michigan, if I'm reading that correctly. Okay. And you know what, you could, you instead of quince, you could use uh, green apples. I mean, you could, you could substitute it with something else, as long as it's something that's kind of hearty and um, you don't want to use like a, like a soft, soft fruit. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe, Pear might be too soft, but I would I would stick with an apple. You could use a, a Granny Smith apple. Yeah, and there's always the the amazing uh, Amazon. <laughs> you can get anything from Amazon. I was surprised as to how much stuff I could get on Amazon, but typically quince um, you can typically find it at a Middle Eastern market, at an Indian market. You could sometimes find it at Hispanic markets. So. I would check those markets. I mean, know in Michigan, there's a lot of Middle Eastern stores. So. Right. So um, I just want to remind people, they can ask you questions about the recipes or they can ask you questions about some tips that you may have for you, for the weight loss. and Or maybe they want to know a little bit more about your story. Um, sure, uh, you can ask me anything they like. I would be. Yeah, we're here for you guys. We can be here for another uh, 20, 25 minutes. Uh, so make sure you get your questions answered. So would chayote work or too bland? I don't um, know. That might be a little too bland. That, that I wouldn't, I, I, I don't think you, you may try it and maybe it might be tasty. I've never tried it, but, um, yeah, I don't know about that one. And they're saying the recipes work that you sent. So that's great. That's that's great. This is the first time that I tried this feature, so I'm glad. If you for some reason couldn't download them, don't worry, they will be emailed anyway. So Tara's asking, Costco has organic brown basmati rice in large bag. Now the only problem with, with the one that Costco has, 
um, I don't want to use the short grain basmati rice. We want to use the extra long grain basmati rice because the short grain is going to be too sticky. You want the rice to be fluffy. This is why Persian rice takes a while to make. It's not, it is not by any means a quick, a, a quick rice. Um, so be careful when you're, when you're, when you're purchasing and make sure it says extra long grain. And this is why I tested it and I could find it. I know I can find it in the Middle Eastern markets, but definitely I thought I bought it off of Amazon and Amazon has the extra long grain uh, brown basmati rice from India. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, uh, it's easy to lose, to, to miss that in the supermarket because we're not looking for quints all the time. But uh, I, I went to a supermarket here in Argentina and there it was, they had quints. So when you find it, you know, just chop it maybe and put it in the freezer for later on. So but, does that but, mean that when I come to Argentina, you're going to make it for me? What? No, I'm going to make you make it for me. <laughs> How about if we make it together? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's good. Okay. Uh, this says a good reminder about the long grain. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what is in the hmm? medley? Is there no Trader Joe's? Okay. Oh, in the brown rice medley, if there is no Trader Joe's, what, what can they use? Well, you could use regular brown rice. It's perfectly okay. fine. So go ahead and make your brown rice uh, separately and then go ahead and cook your lentils separately and have your your um, dates and your, your raisins and all your spices. And once the rice has cooked, you can combine everything. You can combine the lentils. And actually what I, I would do is I would put a serving, like a layer of the brown rice. And on top of that, I would take the lentils and I would spread that on top. And then I would put my seasoning and my, my dates and, and raisins. And then I would put another layer of brown rice and then I would just layer it or, uh, and make it just really pretty and then put saffron rice on top. Or if you choose to, you could just go ahead and mix everything together and then serve it that way when it's all mixed. So it's, it's not a problem at all. You can use plain uh, brown uh, basmati rice. Right. Have you ever tried using, like someone is saying here, the instant pot, or you always use the, the rice maker? Okay, so you you were at my house, and you saw that I was always cooking the rice on the stovetop, because that's how, that's traditionally how we make it. So everything's made on, on the stovetop. Certain recipes, I will use the rice cooker. I have not made um, this one in the instant pot. I've always used the rice cooker. But I'm sure you could use the instant pot. I don't see any reason not to do it because I've made, I have made brown rice, wild rice in the instant pot. So there, there should be no problem. And like you said earlier, this this rice takes a little longer than than other, you know, than other types of cooking. But like you were when when you were in your house, or like the other day I made it here. You know, you make it in a day that you're doing laundry, or that you're doing something in the house, or that you're answering emails, something that that you can be doing other things and don't have to be standing there waiting for the rice. But, and then before you know it, it's ready to go and you're enjoying it. Yes, and you really enjoy the, how this house smells. It's the whole house smells just amazing. Someone says, Mary says that she would love to hear your story, Seda. Would you maybe uh, summarize it and tell us um, the story for some people that sure. may not know it? It, uh, for those of you that don't know me, I started um, this plant-based journey seven years ago um, when I met uh, uh, Chef AJ and John Pierre at Healthy Taste of LA. And uh, meeting those two really like changed my world. I was pre-diabetic. I had high cholesterol, high triglycerides. Um, I was uh, borderline diabetic, so I was on all sorts of medications, and I was very overweight. Um, and the funny thing is, is that all my life I was a competitive swimmer and I was always, you know, doing, a, a, I don't know, working out, I would say. But I never made the connection that you cannot out exercise a bad diet until I met these rock stars and I um, be became plant based and I followed it and um, I did everything they told me to do. And I cut out the salt, the oil, the sugar, and it was the best decision of my life. Unfortunately, during before starting this journey, I lost my uncle to gastric bypass surgery. And to this day, I wish he was alive that I could teach him how to eat healthy 
and how to follow a plant-based diet, you know, free of salt, sugar, and oil so that he could be alive today instead of being buried six feet under. And I really challenge everyone to follow this way of eating because the food is absolutely delicious. And it's just that the, the, the weight loss is a side effect. What I think is the best thing is that I no longer have I'm on any medication of any kind. I'm no longer pre-diabetic. I no longer have high cholesterol, high triglycerides. The best part about all this to me, in my opinion, is that my mom is completely on board. She um, made the transition. She didn't fight me on it. And they told her that she would never get off of her blood pressure medication, her diabetes medication. And it's been six years now for her and she's completely off of all medications. So this program works if you work it correctly. Um, we just have to spread the word out. And, you know, for me, it was really important that I wanted to keep my Persian heritage because I absolutely love our food. And I had to find a way to make it tasty um, and, and enjoyable. And we can, we can eat, you know, we can eat this way. Um, and I, it's just, I just love it. And I'm so excited that you guys enjoyed it. Yes, yes. And we want to, I, I, I know you, you do. Uh, I, I do. I want to thank AJ. She was, I think she's here. She was, I, I saw her earlier. Yeah, I saw her earlier. And, uh, I want to thank AJ because she, uh, has, she, she, she touched so many lives. And, um, and, and I know that you were part of her ultimate weight loss program or are. Yes. And, and so we want to thank AJ uh, for all you're, you've done and are doing. And, um, because we're in, we're in this, together guys all yeah, we're all one team nobody's you know? we're not competing against no. dr Michael or aj or dr uh yeah. you know whoever um we we the, the, so many millions of people need us that we're in this together so thank you um and someone asked here shada if you ever use maple syrup no um the only the only thing that i will use um to sweeten anything would be dates Date, date paste, date syrup, or just plain old dates. I will not use anything else. Right. And you mentioned your mother, who is a lovely lady that I have learned to love and appreciate and feel like she's my U.S. mother. Yeah, and, she, calls, she calls you her son. So. <laughs> and, and so it reminded me that my mother has, had this, has the same story. Um, she, she's very energetic and looks very young like yours. And she also was able to get off all her medications. And, um, so like you said, if you do this right, and there's no reason why not just since the food tastes so great, uh, then you get the results that, that you are looking, that you're looking for. I mean, when you were here, Gustavo, did you feel deprived in any way? No, I actually felt like... <laughs> I, I I mean we ate so much and uh in the variety you know yeah the, uh, I've been doing this for five years and so and there's no way I'm going back either um and yeah that's that's the whole story well Shada I don't know I think people are excited to have gotten your recipe they're ready to make it and okay. um so I, I really want you guys, if you do make it, please post it on Facebook or send me an email. I would love to know what your thoughts were. Um, and if you want to hear more about my story, um, it is on YouTube. And you can go ahead and uh, download it and listen to it. I've been interviewed several times. And uh, it's just been an, a pleasure to be here with you guys tonight. Yes, it really has. It has been uh, a great time together so guys uh we hope to see you next week if you can't if you can't log in live don't worry um you can still sign up for the webinar and you will receive the replay in this case there is no limit uh you can watch the replay as many times as you want and you get the you'll get the written recipes as well you can email shada uh what is your email? Tell them, please. Um, cooking. Well, I don't know which one. I don't know which one we put on the. Um, okay. Well, it, it is at the end of the of the yeah. video. So, uh, or you can email me as well at Gustavo at GustavoTolosa and, and for those of you that live in Orange County or the Los Angeles area, once a month I do have healthy cooking classes here at my house. 
And um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a Persian class live at the house. Now, my only thing is when I when I tell them that I will do it, um, you're going to be in my house for, <laughs> for two or three hours. So just be prepared. You know, we're we're going to be cooking, but it's, we're going to be also be sitting around and, and just chit chatting because we have we have to give it time for it to cook. But, you know, so be on the lookout if you go to Healthy Cooking with Shada on my page on Facebook. That's where I post everything about my classes. And I would love to see you guys there as well. Yes. And I will be there next month in November. And we're going to do a two couple. webinars. Really awesome webinars. Yes, we're uh, going to be doing a Mexican fiesta class. I'm looking forward to you guys joining us uh, for that one as well. And we're going to I'm have little, we're going to have margaritas, right? I'm looking forward to the margarita recipe. <laughs> yeah, oh. well, well, here, hold on. Make the disclaimer: there is no tequila in there, right? No tequila, no vodka. <laughs> but that's okay. It will taste great, and oh, yeah. Yeah. that's what we're looking. Yeah. That's what we're after here. Having a way of eating that is sustainable and fun and enjoyable to to have. Thank you again, Shada, and thank, thank you everyone you. for joining us tonight. And um, it's uh, almost 11 p.m. here in Argentina, so I don't know if I'll stay up anymore. But uh, I will either send the replay uh, now in a little while, or I'll send it to you tomorrow morning. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Bye, bye, everyone.